Well, this is the campaigning uh, award, and it's a very special award um, from my point of view because this is about um, using expression not only to expose the truth um, and to fight for injustice, a fight for justice, fight against injustice, but also uh, to change things, to make a real difference. Alan, it may uh, not be all that we've got, but it's vitally uh, important, and I think you'll appreciate that when you see the quality uh, of the candidates and the clips you're about to see uh, this evening. So a really important uh, award from our point of view. So this is the Index on Censorship Freedom of Expression Award for campaigning, and we're very grateful for the support of Doughty Street Chambers in offering this award. The award recognises campaigners who have fought censorship and challenged political repression. Um, we like to call them the troublemakers. Uh, the 2015 shortlist is Amran Abdundi from Kenya, Yaman Ak Deniz and Kerem Altipamak from Turkey, Rechts gegen Rechts and Zentrum Demokratische Kultur from Germany, Abdul Mujib Kalvatgar from Afghanistan, and Soldiers' Mothers from Russia. Campaigner Amran Abdundi, Kenya. Amran Abdundi is a women's rights activist based in northeastern Kenya. She founded the Frontier Indigenous Network an organization which mobilizes female peace builders and activists to map out local conflict, pursue arms traffickers, and set up shelters along the dangerous border with Somalia. Frontier Indigenous Network offers first aid to the injured and supports women and girls who have been raped by moving them to safer parts of Kenya. Despite a number of death threats, Abdundi has also mobilized women to rise against the area's terrorist organizations using women-only radio listening groups as a way of educating and empowering those women in remote areas. Amran Abundi was a standout candidate for me. She is doing something incredibly powerful in unbelievably complicated and dangerous situation. Um, I found that incredibly inspiring and humbling. Abdul Mujib Khalvatkar, Afghanistan. Abdul Mujib Khalvatkar is an Afghan journalist who has dedicated himself to helping free and fair journalism grow in a country in which more than 40 journalists have been killed since 2001. As a radio journalist and the executive director of media advocacy group NAI, Mujib aims to strengthen Afghan democracy by being one of the founding fathers of a free media in his country. NAI has offered basic training to around 10,000 Afghan journalists, runs an all-female radio station, and has been behind several successful campaigns against government laws that threaten to stifle Afghan press freedom. In an environment like Afghanistan, he's not just standing up as a journalist himself, he's allowing a whole cohort of individuals to stand up with him. This is very important work. Rechts gegen Rechts and Zentrum Demokratischer Kultur, Germany. ZDK is an anti-extremist organization set up in 2003 which has teams targeting and seeking to rehabilitate both neo-Nazi and jihadi individuals. Rechts gegen Rechts is one brainchild of ZDK employee Fabian Wichmann, whose humorous and clever campaigning activities have offered inspiration and drawn acclaim across Europe. In November 2014, 250 neo-Nazis gathered for their annual march in Wunsiedel, the small German town where Rudolf Hess was buried. Unbeknownst to them, Fabian had organized local businesses to donate 10 euros for every meter walked by the neo-Nazis, who were therefore doing a 12,000 euro sponsored walk against themselves. There's amazing humor, but also clarity of perspective in their approach. And I think um, their voices need to be heard all around the world. I do believe that the impact of their work, particularly among young people, is going to be massive. Yaman Akdeniz and Kerem Altiparmak, Turkey. Yaman Akdeniz and Kerem Altiparmak are cyber law experts and internet rights activists who have campaigned vigorously against the Turkish government's increasingly restrictive internet access laws. In 2014, the Turkish government extended the reach of already controversial new internet legislation and immediately used it to block Twitter and YouTube. Akdeniz and Altiparmak took their government to the highest court in Turkey, eventually helping to overturn the Twitter ban. 
YouTube was reactivated soon after. They continue to protest against the stifling legal framework that still allows the Turkish government to block over 50,000 websites. Unfortunately, not many people in Turkey, they don't know much about these things. And uh, there's a huge pressure in Turkey when it comes to social media and internet rights. So their voices are uh, very important. The impact is also great. Soldiers' Mothers, Russia. Soldiers' Mothers is a Russian NGO network dedicated to improving transparency and exposing human rights abuses in the Russian military. It provides soldiers' families with reliable information, kept private by the notoriously secretive Russian military. Soldiers' Mothers also provides legal advice for Russian soldiers and their families, and for conscientious objectors. In the past year, the group has estimated that around 10 to 15,000 Russian troops have been sent into the Ukraine, contradicting Vladimir Putin's denial of military involvement. This work has landed the group's organizers in hot water, but an escalating campaign of threats, defamation and arrests has so far failed to silence them. First of all, it shows the power, the universal power of mothers and motherhood and the, 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 the force that it brings people. Uh, this is citizens again, you know, raising up and trying to get the truth out. Now, having seen that, you'll appreciate how difficult it was for us to make a decision in this category as well. Um, but the winner is Amral Abdundi from Kenya. and gentlemen, I am honored Vital, and extremely happy to stand in front of you tonight. I want to thank all judges who selected me for this award after going through so many wordless and wonderful nominations that were submitted from around the world. Equally, I want to thank Index on Censorship Staffs. I will be internally updated to you all. This award goes to, goes to manage, manage women of Northern Kenya, whom I have worked with closely for the last 10 years, and who have joined hands with me in fighting out, out, outdated culture practice that deny them to right own properties, expose them, to dangerous practice like F FGM and threatening them with sexual exploitation. The award also goes to conflict confirmants who were abducted by arms youth in the height of armed violence in northern Kenya and acted as comfort women arms militias. When these women come back, of zones with children born out of wedlock, they were rejected by their families. This award is for them. Socialty rejected them and they live in separate makeshift area outside normal settlement area in northern Kenya. Working together with conflicting comforts right, we engage various Various, various sorry, stakeholders, women leader, elders, local government officials, cultural leaders, and youth in order to open a dialogue. This leads to patient acceptance by the community in accommodating them. I am still working in engaging everyone to fully accept them. This award also goes 
to women who are now today enjoying their constitutional rights on properties, land, and livestock. This is contrary to past practice when all, all, all lands, livestock, and properties acquired by women was registered in the name of their husbands, or if the woman was single or widow, her brother or father's names. Our campaign and our advocacy managed to break that outdated culture practice. The award also goes, goes to women victim of arms violence perpetrated by terrorist groups, community militias, and gangs along the Somali, Somali border, Kenya-Somali border. Those who have used their arms power to attack, raped, gang raped, and blocked women fled dropped from reaching border refugee camp in northern Kenya. We used our voice to comfort the attackers and we documented the, the abuse along the border. I have done all this, all, the, all, the, all these things not to win any award or recognition, but because of a grave reality on the ground, a horror which moved me to join hand with other women for a women-led organization called Frontier Indigenous Network. As a founder member, I started as community mobilization, and now I am executive director. Because of my work, I campaign, I have been called many names by those who are opposed to change. I cannot mention these names here. They are printed or not worth mentioning, but this award also go to them. Yeah. Thank you, Index on Censorship, for selecting my work in Northern Kenya for this award. The award of Northern Kenya, the women of Northern Kenya will now know that the struggle of their effort to fight for their rights are being recognized internationally. Today is my birthday, and it will be a birthday that I will never forget. It will be in my heart for the rest of my life. You are a true partner of women of Northern Kenya. Thank you.